All right, guys, so this little video is for a question that one of my guys had, and I thought I would share it just to um, be helpful, okay? So if this is uh, any help to you then or any blessing to you, then, then good. But it's a question or an issue that one of my guys had, and I wanted to uh, just share it with, with everybody else as well so that it could hopefully be a benefit to you. So the question is with the empty hand, that's like in front, when they punch and we do parry salute lead elbow, okay? So we parry salute and lead elbow. They said they didn't like that technique, um, which is totally fine, of course, but um, that they wouldn't do that technique, so they would do something else. Why do that? Uh, why do that technique if it's not gonna work for them? And that, that can be answered in many ways, but I will say that a lot of times, or, or for this situation, I would say that learn the mechanics and do the reps on the motion because there's more behind it than just that one technique. There's more things that happen, okay? And to give a few examples, um, if I were shorter, where whenever she punches, it's coming down and I can't reach the face, yes, I can pull, but if I pull, I'm just gonna use the rear elbow, okay? If I pull down with this hand a hook and try to get to the face, the shoulder still may be in the way, it's gonna be a hard reach, but the arm is not. So when she punches and I do parry salute, even if I'm shorter, that, that lead elbow can now become a elbow to the arm. Because of the downward angle, the horizontal line will still bicep. So I can still parry salute and break here, one, because of the downward angle of the arm if I'm sh that much shorter. But besides that, when I develop the parry salute elbow um, response, when I develop the, the, that motor skill for doing that, it allows me to do a lot of other things. Like when I parry salute and throw that elbow, it allows me to come over and clip this arm and come back through with my elbow and my clinch. So just, just getting used to this rep over and over again, one, two, where I do the lead elbow, eventually allows me to use my elbow to, to clip and roll and clear the arm out of the way. So even if they punch and retract their arm back, as she punches and retracts her arm back, this hand catches. But whenever I throw the elbow, she punches and I go elbow one. When she tries to retract the arm back, this elbow can go inside on top of the bicep and clear, deliver the elbow and clinch. So me developing the reps of throwing that peri elbow, even though I may not be able to get the elbow in the face because they're taller, if I develop those reps like that, I can hit the people that are within that striking range but when they're not, and I do that out of reflex, I have the ability to understand how to follow through and continue to something else. Just like she can punch and I do parry salute, and if she were to stop my elbow, it would allow me to switch to the other side where I could also clear, come back through and do the elbow and the clinch. Or when she punches and I do the lead elbow and she stops that, allows me to pick it up and arm bar, you know, or pick it up and go to something else from this side. So, and, and just to look at it from over here, when she delivers the punch and I go parry salute elbow, if I can't get this, it allows me to clip and clear that arm out of the way and still come back with my elbow and my clinch. Okay, so there, there are so many other things happening. I would suggest, even if you don't feel like you can would do that technique, it's not your favorite, um, do it and develop the, the motor skills and mechanics uh, and attributes needed so that um, when the time comes for you to, to, for you to grow in your knowledge, you have the motor skills developed so when somebody teaches you how to add on to that and how to flow through that to something else, that you've already developed the foundation needed to get there. Okay guys, all right, peace.